So coming into this Lake Erie tournament, I knew that I would want to do some of the forward facing sonar uh, casting to fish. Um, but what I wanted to do is come up with a setup where both me and my partner could both fish it. A lot of times uh, right now, the guys who are good at it are just up on their trolling motor. They get to point at the fish, they get to make the cast, and the guy in the back is kind of you know, irrelevant to the whole deal. So I wanted to make sure that my partner Mikey had an equal amount of chance to catch fish as me, and quite frankly, hopefully he catches more because we weigh him in as a boat. So what I came up with was, for me, I find it's a lot easier a lot of times to fish in the back of the boat, especially in big waves and things like that. And the nice thing is, is with my power pole trolling motor, I can anchor up and it will hold us right in the precise spot. So a lot of times we'll just graph around, we start seeing some fish out there, we anchor up the trolling motor, and then I'll come over to this side and I'll fish with this uh, um, active target over here. Uh, I've got it on a Brew City uh, CT360 mount, so I can take and I can point this and basically cover this whole side of the boat because that trolling motor is hanging us right in one spot. I just simply use the Lowrance unit up on my console to actually see the fish out there, make the cast, count it down to the fish, and then try and work that fish. If he starts reacting, I might start popping it or hopping it or whatever I got to do. But I've got my own unit over here. Then what we did was we took my ice fishing uh, setup, you know, this Lowrance setup that they've got. It's got a Dakota lithium battery in it and everything. Don't have to run power to it. But I still set up a, a CT360 over here for Mikey with an active target down on it. But he can then stand on this side and do the same thing over here. So we're both being real, real effective. When we want to move a little bit, I just simply take my, my trolling motor out of anchor, I point it forward, I turn on navigation, so the motor will keep pointing the same way, and then I run it at a real slow speed, and what that lets us do is slip backwards. While we're doing that, both of us can be looking out here for fish. As soon as we see something, boom, we're back in anchor mode, back fishing for those fish. So I think this is, was a really good setup. Uh, I'm sure I'll refine it a little as I go, but it allowed both me and my partner, Mikey, to fish equally well with forward-facing sonar and pitching for walleyes.